when it comes to last night's Big Brother, there's just one word to describe it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it was an emotional roller coaster that ended with this tearful eviction. Talia, you received 11 votes, which means, sadly, Talia, you have been evicted. But don't think for a second that the drama stopped there. We need to address this moment right now. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse ah. me. The whole episode has left us needing answers. We need answers. So let's go straight to the source with Big Brother's latest evictee. Talia joins us from her home in Adelaide. Oh, look, hey. she's got a big smile on her face. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Hi. Last night had us on the edge of our seats. Did you watch it back? Yes, I did. I watched it with all of my friends and it was amazing. We cracked, op uh, cracked open a bottle of champagne, so I did celebrate. <laughs> now, we just saw what happened between you and Angela once you were evicted. Uh, you were really upset and we've gone through the first episodes with everyone going, oh, we understand it's not your fault, you're in that position, you've got to do this thing. Why were you so upset with her? I think it's because Angela and I had such a good, strong friendship. Um, couldn't see much of it because, it, you know, they don't want to show all that. Um, but the thing with me is when we went and had a chat in the green room, she was so loving towards me and said, I'd never put you up for eviction. And I said to her, well, you're in the firing line, um, but I, if I win today's challenge, I'm, I'm not going to put you up. And then she also said, oh, you're also in the firing line, but I won't put you up for eviction if I win. And she did, so, you know, all of that yeah. friendship kind of just went down the drain in that moment for me. But, yeah, we have a beautiful friendship now, so, oh, yeah, it's oh, all that's, good. that's <laughs> nice. Having said that, though, she put you up for, for nomination, but 11 of your housemates voted for you. I mean, that must have stung just a little bit. Um, not really, because with my friendship group, we all... I think Zoe ran, ar uh, Zoe ran around and said that everyone was going to put like each different person up because I wanted to spread the votes mm. even. I knew I was going home though because I knew Angela and Marissa and all that group would put me up. Um, I just told everyone, you know, vote for me. I know I'm going home, just do it. Like leave Daisy, uh, sorry, Casey and Dan in. Um, but a, a lot of social media comments today have been like, Dan's your best friend, why did you put him up for eviction? Um, it was because uh, I voted for Dan, Dan voted for Casey, Casey voted for me. We wanted to make it even and everyone's thinking I uh, backstabbed Dan, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, oh, that's interesting that's to, know. to know. Yeah, because yeah. I, was, I was wondering. I, I, I did wonder why that happened. Kylie um, said to me this morning, she said, I can't believe she did that. <laughs> you <know? laughs> hey, you, were, you were very upset when you had to say his name, though, weren't you? So that hurt a bit. Yeah. To have to say I said, that I'm could I have done someone else? Like, come on. <laughs> so in the opening week of the game, you, you played it, you know, from a really dominant position, you, not only in the house, very popular and involved in everything, uh, also the challenges. So how hard was last night's challenge? Um, let uh, there's only one way to describe this challenge. I've been trying to tell all my friends and family that if you wear high heels all night, all day, you will know the pain that I went through. <laughs> it's, it's literally like wearing high heels all day, every day. I know and your pain. Cute. I know the pain. <laughs> uh, looking back at your time in the house and with the benefit of hindsight, would you do it any differently, Talia? In my head and with all the housemates, I would, wouldn't do it differently, not a chance. But the way it was portrayed on TV, um, I felt like it could have been different. But I know that I was such a fun person in that house and I did have a lot of friends and I have all of the housemates as a friend today. So I wouldn't do it differently at all. I maybe wouldn't have won so many challenges to make myself such big a threat, but uh, I just I, I couldn't help that. And I didn't want to lose that challenge with Sarah because then it would have put her in a position, you know, and I didn't want to do that to her, so I kind of gave it my all. <laughs> Although, would you agree with some of the other contestants that did see you and Dan as the king and the queen? A lot was made of that in last night's episode. Did, did you agree that you guys were the king and the queen? Did you feel a bit like that? Um, well, we got kind of a shock. So, at the eviction ceremony, Sonia said, oh, how do you feel about being the king and the queen? And Dan and I were like, what? The king and the queen? Like, this is the first we've heard of it. But um, looking back on it now, Angela was definitely the one that started that. But 
I don't think I was the queen. I think everyone's a queen in their heart. And I was obviously portrayed as a queen because I was winning all these challenges. I was like ruling the house in a way because I put six people up for eviction. Um, and mm. Dan was just a very strong male figure and he's a, he's a lovely guy and he's gorgeous, oh. so yeah. Well, we loved having you in there and we're, Australia's certainly gonna miss you not being in the Big Brother oh. house. So thanks for joining so. us this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, you were such good value, Tali. We'll miss you. Oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Bye, darling. See ya. Bye. Bye. Ah. Do you know what? If I was in the house, I would not win challenges on purpose. Yes. You would just, <coughs> excuse me, you would just sit up in the little cabana up you, in the back corner. Yes, I would. I would feed you grapes and you would just watch the world go by. No, because you're just, you're just a target. Although last night Angela had to win because she was in line, so she went in and she won the challenge because be she Angela. had to. You'd be Angela. She was applying lip gloss when she you, was you would, That's challenge. what I mean. You would be Angela. <laughs> oh, it continues tonight. The drama. We love it. 7.30 right here on 7. You would be mid-challenge going, sorry, camera guys, I'm not happy with that shot. <laughs> yes. Can you... Yes. Can we fix the lighting? If I'm going to be up in this pole for 15 hours, I need the lighting fixed. Matt behind camera four just laughed. Like, out loud. I heard you, Matt. Yeah. I yeah. heard you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I need to agree with Larry, Matt. Yeah, that's last day here, as it turns out. <laughs> Attention.